What's going on guys, coming back at you with a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about Aston Martin, Ferrari, and maybe a few other things. I mean, Goodwood is going on right now. I mean, oh, yeah, so uh, let's get into it. All right, so first off, Aston Martin just unveiled the Vulcan AMR Pro, Aston Martin Red Bull Pro. Now, this is more like a package that you send your Vulcan over to Aston Martin and they add on these extra things, the extra power, the extra, you know, aero. It's supposed to up the power downforce significantly. It's basically like a power bump and a downforce bump. Uh, it's gonna have I think more downforce than their GT3 cars that are just absolutely killing it right now And it, it, it's gonna be crazy. I mean the images they're showing us right now of this green Liveried car. I mean it is just the green with the orange accents. It, it's just a crazy just ridiculous I, I, it's a Vulcan with canards and a bigger front uh, lips and a double decker wing I mean there's just so much more going on with this car um, yeah so it's not an actual new Vulcan they're not making more Vulcans they're still only the like 24 Vulcans or is it 26 I think it's 24 there's still only gonna be 24 Vulcans uh, that are made but people can send their cars in get this upgrade package with all the extra aero double decker wing uh, it, it's it's gonna be insane I mean what I didn't think they can make the Vulcan look any better because it's already a masterpiece but this AMR Pro uh, package that they're gonna be installing onto these new Vulcans is just mental and the thing is like I said in the intro Goodwood's going on right now and today when I release this video if you're at Goodwood you're gonna be able to see this uh, new AMR Pro I believe they said tonight or you know whatever time it is over there in the UK uh, it's it's gonna be crazy L like I said um, this AMR Pro is going to make 2,950 pounds foot of downforce and their Vantage GTE makes 2,289 pounds foot of downforce I mean this car is just gonna be just off the, off the chain now I mean we already thought it was crazy already I mean if you haven't had the chance to actually see an Aston Martin Vulcan yet alone see it moving in person I mean it, it it's crazy it's absolutely insane. I mean, I, I'm still shocked that I had the privilege of seeing a Vulcan in Ohio. I mean, plus they were doing, they, they had tons of Vulcans over at mid-Ohio. I think they had like three, like one in blue and, you know, that red one that I saw. It's just ridiculous, ridiculous car. All right, so moving over to Ferrari. Um... I even talked about this earlier. I thought they were going to release this car at Geneva, but they did not. I'm talking about the 488 GTO. Yeah, the 488 GTO. Um, now, I was shocked that they might be considering the GTO name, considering that, you know, the 599 GTO and the 288 GTO and all those other cars. Um, I thought they might have given the GTO name to the F12, but they went with the TDF. So, you know, I think they're going to call this 488 Speciale, you know, more uh, trimmed down version. They're going to call it a GTO. Pretty crazy. I mean, there have been several videos of it uh, testing at the Nürburgring, and I'm just now bringing it up. I mean, I've seen this uh, several times and just kind of ignored it, but now I'm going to talk about it now. I mean, I would think they're going for that 700 horsepower mark, too. Um, I don't really know the numbers on the 488, just the normal one, but I would think they're going for the 700 horsepower mark, and it's going to be like a direct competitor to the new GT2 RS that's coming out, you know. I really think that Ferrari's going to put this out soon. We're going to see it at Paris. Uh, I don't think they're going to show anything of it at Goodwood, but maybe, hopefully, we'll see it launched at Paris, the motor show, but... I'm not really sure maybe next year I'm not really sure what uh, car 
um, what year this car is gonna be, like a 2019, a 2020. But, you know, I really hope it comes out soon. I thought it was gonna be at Geneva. I mean, in that magazine, we saw like a rendering of it. Um, but it's just gonna have bigger intakes, you know. Uh, people are thinking that it might have curves, but that's been uh, put down a little bit more. It, probably just bigger turbos, uh, just, you know, just, just a power bump and more aero and downforce, you know, et cetera. Um, can't wait to see what kind of livery they put it out in or color. Uh, usually when they come out with these cars it's crazy i mean when the speciale came out that that thing was absolutely ridiculous and then the speciale aparta came out mm, mm, so so crazy but yeah 48 not really sure what else they're uh uh planning to do with the car you know power wise but the curse thing has been ruled out i think so yeah that's that's pretty much it on that end all right so that's gonna pretty much wrap it up but one thing i want to add i talked about this uh mclaren uh 720s being built in full lego form and it was going to be uh revealed at the goodwood festival of speed and it has and here's some more pictures of it i mean it's <laughs> so cool i mean even there they're letting the people that pass by they're letting them add on pieces to the car so that's going to be really really awesome if you're there i mean i'm over in ohio that's in the uk <laughs> but yeah um that's pretty much it so i talked about the vulcan i talked about the possible 488 gto uh and yeah i hope you found this uh video informative or you liked it at all so yeah uh that's gonna be pretty much it i have some exciting stuff coming this weekend some awesome videos i'm gonna release um i just stay tuned for that i mean it's gonna be crazy um I, like i barely can sleep at night it's it, it's it's just gonna be awesome this uh this uh the video i'm gonna release this saturday and the coming videos that might come from that so yeah um stay tuned for that and if you like this video uh like share comment and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one see you guys later